Welcome to the seventh session on Microfocus's DevWeb protocol. In this video, we'll learn how to utilize data extractors to extract values and use them in the script with the DevWeb SDK. This web request retrieves a list of popular products. Since it is called from the main page, we can open it directly in the browser. We can see that it returns an array of three products. One of the products is HP EliteBook Folio. Let's add a correlation extractor to this request that will retrieve the price of this product. There are six types of data extractors. A boundary extractor, which finds a string based on its left and right boundaries. A regex extractor, which finds a string based on a regular expression. A JSON path extractor, that finds a value within a JSON using the JSON path syntax. An XPath extractor, that finds a value within XML using the XPath syntax. A text check extractor, that verifies a particular text exists. And the HTML extractor, which uses HTML selectors to find values within an HTML document. Let's print out the price to the log. It will be available on the extractors object on the web response returned from that particular web request. We can see that the message prints out correctly without setting return body to true on the web request. This allows replaying the script at a larger scale since no memory is consumed on saving the full responses. We can use the extractors to extract a value from the header of the response. Let's use the boundary extractor to extract the e tag value. As you can see from the log, the e-tag value was extracted from the header of the response and stored in the extractor's object of the web response. We can automate the correlation generation process by using correlation rules with the offline generator. Change the correlation rules file to represent the required correlation extractor to extract the e tag. Now, enable the correlation rule scan in the offline generator configuration file. The scan will generate the correlation extractors automatically in the script. Let's run the offline generator with the correlation rules enabled. The new script contains a definition for the correlation of the e-tag and is used in every place that it is applicable. Note that the value which would be extracted by the correlation in the particular run is shown to you as a comment beside the correlation definition. Thank you for watching this video about using correlation extractors in a DevWeb script. We invite you to watch our next video about using DevWeb with the controller application.